Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. Okay, so this video is gonna be about relationship goals. Okay, say you are dating someone and things are getting serious or you want them to get serious. What do you want to happen? Okay, so this is what a lot of people forget to plan, okay? Um, a lot of people say, oh, just let it happen, let it be. Things will fall in place, da 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 but if you don't go into something with a plan, anything can happen. At least a structure or an outline of what you want the relationship to be needs to be made. Okay? Because first of all, in order to have something, you have to know what you want. It's like going to a restaurant. If you just walk into a restaurant and say, oh, can you cook this? Can you cook that? You know, and don't look at the menu or see what they have on the menu or you know, know what type of restaurant it even is before you walk in and you're in a seafood restaurant ordering sushi or, um, you know, or you're in a, because actually it's sushi or seafood, you're in a, a sushi restaurant ordering macaroni and cheese, it's not going to work. Okay, so you need to know a plan. You need to have an outline. You need to know what you're working with. You need to know what you're going, what you want on your menu. Okay, so Let's say you're dating somebody and you say, okay, this is this is what I want in my relationship. I want honesty, kindness. I want you to be a good man who provides, supports me, you know, treats me like this, this and that, wants to eventually get married and have kids, you know, or at least work towards that direction. I don't want someone who's not even focused in that area at this time or who, you know, does not want to even consider it. So you need to know you know what you want before you even start trying to you know get in good with this person or make a commitment to this person because if you want five kids and he don't want any kids and y'all are in a deep relationship for five years and then he says well I, I'm not doing this I'm not doing this and, and you're, you had your heart set on all this you're actually sacrificing and giving up your dream to stay with someone who you never knew in the first place okay because you should know these things before you get involved, okay? Um, and remember, if, if, if you're one of those kind of ladies who want a bunch of kids or just no kids, and the guy does, it could be vice versa. And, you know, they, they're they going to feel like they settled. And they're going to be, you know, say, you know, I want it more. And they might be, you know, trying to say, well, I want more kids. So, you know, I'm going to go make some more kids. Or you can feel like, oh, well, I want more kids, so I'm going to just have one anyway. I don't care what he thinks, and then he's going to feel pressured, and he's going to be like, I can't take care of all these kids. I only had enough money to provide for you and one child, or no child at all. You know, that's not part of the deal. And a lot of ladies get caught up and say, oh, well, if we have a baby, it'll change everything. It'll make him do better. But if this man had his plan, and you didn't, and you try to sabotage his plan with your plan to make him a better person. Remember, you can't change people. They got to change themselves. And they already had this plan. And they told you before entering into the relationship, look, this is all I want. So you can't change the plans later on unless you both are in agreement. You can't just sneak behind someone's back and change the plan unless you are in agreement. Or unless they change their mind and start to think more like you. And you have to be on agreement with it. Now, a lot, sometimes this happens by accident and women have kids with guys and they'll say, oh, well, I didn't want kids or well, too late, blah, 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 and now you have to work with it. And then they wonder why there's trust issues, okay? Because when you walk into a relationship, you don't, you don't walk into a relationship saying, okay, I want to get pregnant, I want to have kids, I want to put you on child support, I want you to pay everything. That's how the guys are seeing women. That's, that's why they're afraid, because they, they think you're going to trap them or use them. But really, it's all that you just want to change them to make them a better person, to love you and to honor you and to take care of you. But a lot of women do this in the wrong way. Okay, You can't trap a man. You can't make him better by having a baby. Okay, He's just going to resent you and say, what could, my, what could my life have been if I hadn't met you? Okay? So... Now, if you're in a relationship and you're married and your your husband's like, well, we're not ready for a baby and you're ready for a baby, because I know a lot of people go through this, you give him a timeline. Look, I want to have my baby by the time I'm this age, so you need to prepare to get ready by this age. 
and he'll say yes or no and if you can't come to agreement just say okay well we don't need to be together because it's my plan and obviously we're not on the same page so he's either got to say okay well at least you warned me at least i have fair warning and i can make a decision based on that you don't just pop up one day and say hey i'm pregnant because um i want a baby and i know you didn't yet but i don't care what you think blah 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 if it's not an accident like a lot of ladies do this on purpose and men you know they be trying they try to prepare they try to save their little money they try to say okay well in five years i'll be ready for a baby but the woman is so emotional she's thinking well he's gonna leave me or if i put a baby on him he'll stay or he'll feel trapped and he won't be trying to you know do this and that you're already thinking like he's leaving you and you know that is what probably pushes him over the edge sometimes when women do this now for me I, I I had this in my mind when I was 18 years old or 17 years old I was like, I am not having kids until I am married and no shade to any woman who has done that because my mom did it um, lots of other people did it and it's not a problem but I said for my personal goal in life because I've seen how the struggle is for women who do this I said I'm not having kids till I'm married okay and I'm not working either I said this when I was 18 and I said this is how it's gonna be I cannot do it any other way if I don't get married I'm not having kids straight up you know that's it so I never had kids until I got married and it, it works out a lot better everybody's on the same page same board they have the resources to provide for the child and the wife and all this kind of stuff everything is planned out on paper straight up easy and everybody wins okay so don't get caught up in emotion well I love him and we would make a pretty baby together and that is like not very intelligent because you're not thinking about the future of you your kids or that relationship you're thinking about this you know oh this is going to be so perfect we're going to be the perfect family but it never happens that way it rarely happens that way so y'all have to y'all have to use y'all's brains and not your emotions uh, someone asked me to make a video on how do you control your emotions you think <laughs> you use logic okay like if you're about to get mad and blow up and do some crazy stuff think about the consequences before you even consider the action you know it's like okay if I get if I go crazy and you know tear up the place and uh, scratch somebody's car or break someone's window because I'm mad because they cheated what's gonna happen to me think about yourself first well either I'm, I'm gonna get dumped I might get arrested this could go on my permanent record I won't be able to work I won't be able to maintain uh, my lifestyle because I'm not gonna be with him I might be in jail I might have fines uh, I, if I got a kid I might lose custody of my kid Put all this stuff in your mind before you act stupid or emotional, okay? Or you can say, okay, well, um, if you have less problems than that, I say, okay, well, if I always nagging my, my man and he don't love me, I don't feel loved and I just want to be loved and caressed and he's not into that, think about what you do have instead. Would you sacrifice um, a nice house, a nice car, uh, you know, not having to work, uh, you know, luxury things in life uh, because you want to kiss somebody okay or because you want to be lovey-dovey holding hands and walking through the mall like teenagers um, <laughs> some actually that was someone had a question like that for me you know I'm not gonna name names but someone did say they're they're the person that they're with does not show them enough affection anymore and they have everything they want, but they want that connection with a man. And it's like, oh, you know, romance, a true love and stuff like that. But that, that man that's given her the romance and the true love and those type of butterfly feelings don't want a commitment, don't want her to leave her man, and is not going to pay for her. Okay, these are the kind of men that won't do nothing for you. So you're willing to risk you're a man who's doing everything for you, but he just don't want to be a teenager anymore. For this guy who's doing nothing for you, tell you he ain't going to do nothing for you, and hold your hand, have sex with you, and tell you you're beautiful. You're, you're, you're holding that more valuable than what this other person is doing for you. 
that means you have low self-esteem and you want to be validated by a man which you know a lot of women feel that way but once you know who you are you don't need someone to be all over you all the time you know um, so emotions can get in the way of logic and future generations and how your family lives and how your future family lives how good your child performs in school if your child has everything your child needs if you have everything you need how you are in life how you approach people how you see yourself has all to do with how you handle things emotionally like y'all see the trolls in my comments section I don't care I, those things do not make me mad they make me laugh they're actually comical because when you if you know psychology and you break down someone's comment or insult you just really see how they feel about themselves or what's bothering them or what they're lacking or what they're insecure about or something like that or what they like to attack on women to make them feel insecure about themselves so that they can get more attention from them for making them feel like this okay that's like the oldest trick in the book we all know that any man who's wasting his time watching a video and gonna comment and, and, and put down a woman is very weak. Okay, so we don't value your opinion anyway. You're like low on the totem pole to us. So we wouldn't even talk to you in real life if you pass us by on the street. And uh, you should be lucky that anybody acknowledges you in the comments because you wouldn't even exist to us in real life. Okay, keep going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what's funny I mean if I was if I was a man who couldn't get uh, attention from a woman I'd be trolling on uh, videos too just so I can get some attention you know but hey you, you got to get it somewhere if you can't get it in real life right anyway <laughs> so I think I like how uh, um, a lot of people handle it you know they just either delete it or they get uh, if you get mad and go into an emotional rant and start typing back and saying you shouldn't say that that hurts people's feelings and you're not very I see a lot of people I see a lot of youtubers do this you're not very nice and you just gave them power over you you know if you don't care what somebody thinks then nothing is going going to affect you like you're just gonna be numb you're gonna be like okay that's nice I'm glad you think that way whatever whatever you, you should be lucky I'm even typing to you and acknowledging you okay that's how you should be <laughs> like you're like a lot of people call it um, being a sociopath but in this day and age when you have people against against you so much you have to be a sociopath because if you don't you know if you take everything seriously and emotionally you're gonna be an emotional wreck and you're gonna be no good to anyone okay <clears throat> so Yes, control your emotions by being extra confident, by thinking about the effect that it's going to cause if you act this way, okay? A lot of people, when they're young, they have trouble controlling their emotions. But if you consciously work on it, if you consciously say, hey, I feel like I'm being extra emotional in this argument or in this situation. What would a man do? Because men don't think emotionally. Well, men of yesterday. I don't know. Men today think very emotional. But how would an older man handle this situation? Would they would they put logic in place? And, and then you put your emotion and the logic on a scale. And you balance things out. Okay? You say, okay, well, if I overreact, he's going to get mad and leave. I don't want him to leave. That's the whole reason I'm mad. Because I love him and this, this, and that. So... Why don't I just, you know, say, okay, well, you know, we we need to have a discussion about our future plans. I love you so much. I just want to see if we're both on the same page. Instead of, you don't ever talk about us being together in the future. You don't love me. Are you going to be with me? Are you cheating on me? You know, going all emotional. Have an intelligent conversation. Treat him like he's smart or something, you know. Treat him like a human being. Don't whine and say oh no, 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 because that pushes people away and that turns people off an over emotional person think about how when y'all see those men in the comments being over emotional how much of a turn off that is that's sick i don't even like it and i'm a woman you know use your logic and your emotion combine them together and say things to get what you want like if you're at work and you're trying to get a promotion you're not going to go in your op the office of your boss and start crying and saying why you deserve this promotion because you work in place so hard and uh, you're gonna you're gonna present yourself in a 
professional, logical way and represent yourself because you know you deserve that. Okay? You're going to use your brain. So do the same thing in relationships to control your emotions, ladies. It's all business anyway. All right? I'll see y'all later. Bye.